Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock and in this video we're going to discuss why a Nintendo Direct will most likely happen in January of 2021 and there are a lot of reasons why. Now as we all know back in 2020 a lot of disruptions happened in the gaming industry and throughout the world in general because of the coronavirus and because of this there were no traditional Nintendo Directs throughout 2020. In 2020, there were a lot of themed Nintendo Direct Minis and Nintendo Directs for games such as Animal Crossing New Horizons and Monster Hunter. In 2020, Nintendo also introduced the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcases and we had lots of those as well. Of course, we had different Pokemon Directs as well as different showcases for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters by Masahiro Sakurai. And Nintendo ended 2020 with a Direct, but it was for Super Nintendo World which showcased the new theme park in Japan. So again, we had a whole year in 2020 where there wasn't a full-blown traditional Nintendo Direct, just Nintendo Direct Minis and so forth. And because of this, many people are concerned. They think that Nintendo will never return to a traditional Nintendo Direct whatsoever, but we don't know that at this point. The only reason that happened in 2020 is because of the coronavirus, and as history shows, and we're just going back as far as 2017, at every beginning of the year, we've had a Nintendo Direct, whether it's for a specific game, a Nintendo Direct Mini, or a full-blown Nintendo Direct. Regardless, a Direct is a Direct. As we can see, in 2017, we had the Fire Emblem Direct in January. In 2018, we experienced a Nintendo Direct Mini in January as well. In 2019, in February, we had a full-blown Nintendo Direct, and as of last year on January 9th, 2020, there was a Pokemon Direct. And in 2021, there are only two games that we know that have tentative dates attached to them. Super Mario World plus Bowser's Fury is releasing on February 12, 2021, and Bravely Default 2 is releasing February 26, 2021. Two huge first-party games releasing in February of 2021, and we also can't forget about a huge celebration that's going down in February of 2021 as well, The Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary. And I wouldn't be surprised even if Nintendo announced a month in advance some type of Legend of Zelda Direct for the 35th anniversary. We saw that last year in September of 2020, Nintendo went all out with a full-blown Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Direct, so I don't see why that would stop them from doing the same thing with The Legend of Zelda. Of course, Mario and Zelda are two of Nintendo's biggest IPs and franchises, so I would expect Nintendo to do the same thing they did with the Super Mario Bros. Anniversary last year in 2020 to The Legend of Zelda. So don't be surprised if we do see a Legend of Zelda themed 35th anniversary direct in January of 2021. Now, of course, Nintendo can't wait until February to celebrate Zelda, but there are still games that need to be introduced. And as far as when this could happen, there is a future maintenance that is going down January 18th, 2021, which could point to a direct happening sometime soon after. And it could not as well. We don't know anything for sure at this point, but from a marketing standpoint, with only two first party games that we know that are releasing in February of 2021 and the big 35th anniversary for The Legend of Zelda happening in February of 2021, something has to happen in January. So of course, time will tell and hopefully it's sooner than later. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section below and if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really does help out the channel and gives exposure to other people who do not know about Around the Clock. Also, please share this video as well. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new and daily Nintendo news content right here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.